Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. Today we'll be working on solar web graphic design. We'll create our vector web in Illustrator and design the solar effect in Photoshop. So let's begin with the tutorial. Open a new Illustrator document. To create our web structure, we'll use some reference images. You can find out different types of images on the web. So we'll use the black image for this design. Drag and drop to Illustrator document. Scale on the size and embed the image. Next. Trace the image to black and white. This will convert the image to vector. After this, expand the object and ungroup it. Separate each element. Now select the web using the selection tool. Place it aside and change the color to dark color. In the same way, select the other web, drag and change the color to dark. Now select all the remaining pieces and delete it out. Before we begin, Add a black rectangle for background. Place the web over it and arrange them to front. We'll apply very light yellow using the color picker. Select the light yellow color and click OK. Next, using the smaller web, we'll create our circle. Select the smaller web and scale down the size a little bit. Now, using the rotate tool, set the anchor point around here. Now, with the all pressed, just click and drag to create a duplicate. Duplicate it for multiple number of times using the shortcut Command and Ctrl D. Do little adjustments to fill up the empty space. Next, bring in the second web and scale down the size to match the design. Tilt it to an angle and place it close to the border. Now, using the rotate tool, set the anchor point to the center. Click and drag to create a duplicate with the ALT pressed and Command and Ctrl D to duplicate it for multiple number of times. Change the rotation of each web to avoid similarity. Place one more web to the center with a slight change in the rotation to complete the design. Now, to create out the solar effect, we'll open a new Photoshop document. Fill it up with black background color. Now drag and drop the web vector inside Photoshop. Scale up the size and place it around here. To give the effect, we'll be using multiple layers with different blending modes. Add a new layer and change the mode to color. Select the brush and change the brush type to soft brush. Change the fill color to dark faded orange and click OK. Apply it over the left portion of the web. Adjust the size and opacity to give a gradual blending. For the other side, choose the light green and apply it over the edges. We'll be applying various other ranges of color to give volume to the design. Next, hide the color layer and double click on the smart object layer. On the layer star panel, apply color overlay. Change the color to light yellow. Next. Selecting the Smart Object layer, go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Tilt Blur. Make the shape circular. Drag in the white circle and reduce the blur value around 5 pixels. Then click OK. Next, add a new layer above background layer. Hide the color layer. Then choose dark green color using the color picker. Now, with the soft brush tool, Apply the color over the new blank layer just below the web vector. Next, unhide the color layer. Now let's apply some darker tone to the edges on either sides. Give warm color to both top and bottom. Next, add a new layer for highlight. Change the layer mode to color dodge. Now choose yellow color using the color picker. Apply it over the top and bottom of the design. This will add a glow effect to the design. Use low opacity while applying over the sides. Also use eraser tool to reduce the overly highlighted areas. Double click on the blur gallery to increase the blur value to 9. Next, we'll add a new layer to create a fog effect over the surrounding. Choose blue color and apply it over here using the soft brush tool. Choose yellow color and apply it over here then green color to apply over here. At this corner, let's apply some dark blue color. Now go to filter, blur, radial blur. We'll set the amount to 11 and click OK. 
reduce the layer opacity around 58% then again go to filter, blur, gaussian blur. Set the radius value to 126 pixel. We got a soft fog effect. We can keep on adjusting until we get a nice effect. Increase the highlight on the top portion to show heat. Add brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Set the contrast value to 29 and the brightness to 17. Next, add hue and saturation adjustment layer. Increase the saturation value to plus 27 and the hue value to minus 6. This will enhance the contrast of the solar effect. Lastly, type out the text with a proper font. Finally, we have completed designing solar web graphic design. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you are not updated on designing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.